Hello, my name is Ty Young, and I go to Impact Early College High School. The Gordian Knot. It's a concept that basically says sometimes a situation is so complex and so Byzantine, there's no hope in trying to unravel it. Instead, you simply need to cut through. Judge, this analogy perfectly describes our modern healthcare system in America. Because of its in inefficiencies, its bureaucracy, and a lot of the waste in the system, I stand up firm in today's resolution that the United States should end the tax exemption for employer-sponsored health insurance. I'm adding on that we also need to use this money to go into a universal health care program. Now, usually I abhor the expansion of the state in such a regard, but when we're seeing the problems in our current system, sometimes like the Gordian Knot, we can't try to unravel it. We need a simple depth solution to solve the problem. This solution will lead to more care for more Americans. It will lead to economic mobil more economic mobility for Americans. It would reduce the massive inefficiencies we have in our current system. Now, on to the first point about more care. According to the New York Times, December 6, 2016, the lost revenue of $250 billion is more than enough to cover 42 million Americans. Judges, judge, when we're looking at how we're able to cover the majority of Americans who don't have health care by simply repealing this and putting this into funding health care, we're, we're establishing more care for more Americans. But what are the impacts of this? Well, when more people have health care, they spend their bills not on copays and premiums, but instead in the market, on spending money on their bills, on education, on goods and services that ultimately stimulate the economy and lead to more growth. Moreover, we're seeing that these health care is often more effective as well. The second subpoint under this is brought to you by is brought by the Kaiser Family Foundation, March 28, 2019, showing that the US lags behind in most OECD countries in terms of health care while spending more on all of them. So what we're saying is that we're going to be showing more effectiveness of these systems as well. We're going to be showing this because not only people have more access, but also because there's better things like price negotiation. People have more access to a lot of life-saving drugs, for example, that they need. The second point is the idea of economic mobility. Now, Judge, I believe in the American dream. I believe that it should be possible for every American to obtain a kind of middle-class lifestyle if they work hard and play by the rules. But we're seeing that this is not the current situation when people are being tied down and chained down to their work because they have to rely on their employer for health insurance. Now, in fact, according to a survey by American Health Insurance Plans, 56% of Americans stay with the job they currently have because of health insurance. Now, Judge, when we're seeing how people are being kept from starting new businesses, from going into the jobs and career fields they want, we are holding people back. We're not letting people to have as much autonomy and be as free. Moreover, we're seeing how this is hurting small businesses as well. The second subpoint under this is how large companies often use this health, health insurance as a means of taking away good talent and good labor from small businesses. Because small businesses don't have the funding or the number of people to have a group insurance rate, small businesses say, uh, large businesses say, hey, we will we'll give you health insurance, just come work for us. And small businesses are left without the kind of labor they need to do well and to thrive. This would establish a level playing field for small businesses and large businesses in America by taking it off the hands of the private market and putting it into the hands of the state. And this moves on to the third contention, which is the idea of inefficiencies. Now, according to the New York Times, December 6, 2016, the exclusion fuels the growing cost of health care. There is no upper limit on the amount that may be excluded from income. That encourages workers to buy generous insurance that offers low cost sharing but high tax-free premiums. This coverage makes consumers less price sensitive and promotes the use of medical services that provide very little actual value but are still very costly. A lot of this leads to 30 cents of every one dollar wasted in America. So judges would look at not only this but other inefficiencies within our current healthcare system, like having multiple providers, therefore having to have more paperwork for each doctor, for example leading to a glut of administrative costs and administrative fees, for example. When we're looking at this, how it's leading consumers to make poor choices when it comes to actually choosing their quality of care, we're seeing that taking this off the hands of the employer sponsor and putting it into the hands of the state, we're able to have more efficiency within our system. So Judge, when we're looking at what's best for establishing more care for more Americans, not having to trade quality for quantity, but instead being able to have both for the majority of Americans, where we're looking at having more economic mobility for not just everyday Americans, but for small businesses, and removing the inefficiencies in our system by establishing a uniform federal funding mechanism. This definitely helps our healthcare system. Thank you.